Hey internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my June bullet journal video for you. I know it's coming out a little late. I'm really sorry. I've tried to film this as soon as possible, but for some reason, just the way my weekend started getting timed, I didn't have enough time to film. And so I really rushed this, I think in like the second week and I had to do it almost in the evening. So you're going to notice throughout the video, the lighting gets unfortunately kind of progressively worse. I've tried to fix it up as best I can in post-production but you can still kind of notice it. So I'm going to give some upfront apologies about that. But yeah, so I know I'm kind of uploading this a little bit towards the middle of the month, but you know, better late than never. So for June, I decided to go for a nice honeycomb look. I've kind of been wanting to do this particular one for a while now, but for some reason I just kept putting it off. And then a couple weekends ago, I know this sounds really weird, but I actually tried honeycomb for the first time, like not honeycomb, but like, um, you know how you'd get honey with the wax and everything, how it naturally is. Um, so I tried that even though it actually is just honey with wax, but I've seen so many videos on YouTube of people eating it that I just got really curious. So I tried it and it's so delicious, but deliciously expensive as well. So I don't think I'll be having any more anytime soon, but yeah, it kind of inspired me to take on this particular theme. You will notice if you check out my Happy Clouding sticker shop on Etsy that I have a kit called Honeycomb or Honeybee, which is very, very similar to this. And that is no coincidence. I actually did have to pull out Violet's art just to kind of give me a little bit of inspiration and guidance on what to draw and how to draw things and everything like that. So you're going to notice a lot of similarities. But I figured since it was in my shop anyways, and Violet's my best friend, she probably wouldn't mind. So I just went ahead and did that. To be fair, she has sent me so many amazing pieces of artwork that will eventually hit the store when, you know, I get around to it that I think they'd be great things for future bullet journal videos. So I decided to keep this month pretty simple in terms of nothing too over the top because for my May bullet journal, as you guys saw, I went really ham with the colors. And if you saw my weekly spreads, which I realized I never share my weekly spreads, I think I might try to start doing that more potentially on Instagram. I'm not really sure yet. Let me know what you guys think. I have had a few requests to show weekly spreads, but I always feel like they're really boring because they mostly feel like just a bunch of to-do lists. But um, I went really ham on the paint and so my bullet journal has essentially started to crinkle really, really hardcore, which some people hate, some people love. I actually kind of like the texture that is added to my bullet journal and it kind of thickens up a little bit. So I quite like that, but I decided to go light for June. And I decided not to do my habit tracker and my sleep tracker for this particular month because I figured what I might do is put those trackers in the weekly views for June and see how I go with that. So I've put together my standard time tracker. I find that really important to try and figure out how long and how many hours I'm spending on different things. And then across from that, I decided to put my mood tracker. I made the mistake of not really planning out my mood tracker very well, which I usually do. I usually try to pencil everything out beforehand. So I kind of understand where the spacing lies and stuff like that. But because I was in such a rush this month, I didn't even have time to sit down and do the penciling. So I just went right in and started putting pen to paper and you can kind of see towards the end of my mood tracker at the bottom that I start to run out of space. So I kind of squish in day 29 and 30. But if I was able to do this all over again, I would have spaced things out a lot better. Then we come to our last page, which is the monthly view. There's really nothing special about this one. As I said, because of time limitations, I didn't really have the capacity to get all creative and really plan stuff out, which I really, really regret. I wish I had done this a bit earlier. So that I will be making sure that I plan July out a lot better. Although now that I say that, I'm really nervous because I'm kind of like putting myself on the spot there. But yeah, the June monthly view is very similar to most other months. Just making sure I carry across the yellow theme and the honeycomb look and everything like that.
that is pretty much it. I did contemplate filming a weekly view as well as part of this plan with me, but it started getting really dark and you can kind of tell that from the really harsh shadowing. Usually when I am completely dependent on artificial lights, I get really, really strong shadowing just because my desk doesn't have like really beautiful ambient lighting. I just have like this one ring light that sits above me. Um, that's exactly why I prefer to film in the mornings on weekends because the lighting is perfect. But yeah, time is always an issue. So yeah, that's my bullet journal spread for June. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you, internet.